we're going to talk about some ways to create more realistic drum patterns. Sometimes when you're programming drums in electronic music, they can sound very robotic. They're exactly on the grid, and human beings don't play that way. There's natural changes in tempo and how hard they're striking the drums. So we're going to try to mimic that to make our electronically programmed drums sound a little more realistic. So let's start by building our beat. I've got an 808 kit here, and I'm just going to throw down some kick drums and then get our snare, and then we'll put in our hi-hat pattern. And let's take a look at the MIDI clip. It's a nice sounding beat, but it is very static and perfect to the grid. If you were to look, everything is falling exactly where it's supposed to be in a way that's kind of unnatural. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to look at velocity. And velocity is how hard the particular drums are hit. And right now we can see our velocity down here for our hi-hats, which is all exactly the same. So in thinking about how a real drummer might play, they sort of accent the downbeats. So what I'm going to do is select all the upbeats by clicking one and holding shift and just going around and selecting them. And now I can grab their velocity and lower those. And you can hear it as I go really low. Those upbeat hi-hats are almost barely audible, or we can even accent them more by raising the velocity. I'm going to bring them down a bit, maybe something like that. So we have just a little bit of change in the way they are struck. The next thing we can look at is nudge, or moving our notes around. I'm going to add in some claps here, right on the snare drums. And right now the snares and the claps are hitting at exactly the same time. So I'm going to go into the claps, select those. I'm just going to slide them over just a little bit to make them just a little bit late. So now there's a little bit of a timing difference going on between the claps. And that'll help make things sound a little more realistic. The next thing we can look at is I'm going to, I'm going to add a filter to this track. I'm going to pause the tape here. So I'm going to drop our filter onto our track here. And I'm going to put it right on the hi-hats. So I'm going to select the hi-hats, go inside my drum rack, and put it right at the end there. And I'm going to select the frequency. If we think about the way a cymbal is hit with a drumstick, the harder you hit it, the brighter the sound is. When a drummer is hitting a cymbal slightly less hard, it's going to be a little more dull. And we're going to mimic that with our filter. So I'm going to just select the frequency knob here for our auto filter and go inside our MIDI clip and select envelopes. And because my frequency was the last thing I touched, it's also the thing that will be selected inside our MIDI clip. And I'm going to go into our pencil tool and just go to those alternating upbeat hi-hats and just change the, velocity, the filtering on each one of these hi-hats. And if you notice, when we listen to the hi-hats, soloed, we have this sound as if one is being hit hard and the next one is being hit softer. And in the context of the beat, we get that nice velocity change and that nice different sound in the different cymbal hits. Finally, the last thing we can do to make our drums sound more realistic is to change our pattern over time. A real drummer is not going to play the same exact thing over and over and over again. That will give away your sound as being a loop. So what we're going to do is create some variations. I'm going to click this double loop button, which doubles the length of our loop inside of live. So now instead of a two bar loop, we're working with a four bar loop. And I'm just going to do a couple subtle things here. I'm going to go inside our third bar and maybe just put an extra hi-hat in right there. And I'm also going to put another kick here. And maybe we'll do another kick right about here. And as we play this, there's our first two bars. We get that little hi-hat change and some extra kick drums. Subtle things like that will really help make your beats sound realistic, like a real drummer's playing. And you can take this even further and duplicate the loop again and add in some more sounds later on, as you wish. And now, 
on the last four bars, we're gonna get something different than the first four bars. So those are some ways you can make your drum sounds and your beats sound a little more realistic.